Welcome, guys, to Next Level Toys. We hope everyone's doing fantastic. We have a fantastic show for you today. It's the Hot Wheels Ultra Hots. We was able to obtain all eight of them. Not an easy task in my area. We're going to start off with number one, the 1964 Chevy Chevelle SS in a beautiful turquoise green. I love these cars because they really put some nice paint jobs on these. They're about three bucks a piece, which ain't too bad. A nice looking card, thick, durable, and it's in color back here. And uh, each one is unique with the car, so they're not all the same. Please let me know which one your favorite is. I'm not opening them because we only got the one set. I only opened them when I got two sets or more. And we don't really get more than two sets anyway. Here is the 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S in a, looks like a black. Nice fire on the sides. These will be all metal bodies with plastic bottoms. Nice chrome. These would be awesome if there's metal on metal. And uh, they'd be really cool if there's the real riders with the rubber tires. 1971 Dodge Demon. I would say this is probably my favorite of the set because of this beautiful pink. It has sparkles in it. The body is a great design. A very nice looking muscle car. You got your basic stripes. Nothing overboard. Definitely a car you would see at a car show. Nice chrome on the bottom. It's got them old vintage looking rims too. That's what they did in the 90s. It has that little lines in there. It's pretty neat. Here's the 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. This actually is my favorite of the set. We got the green and black, which y'all know I'm crazy over. You can't go wrong with this beautiful Plymouth Roadrunner. Very nice paint scheme, nice paint stripes and fire. Yeah, not overly bored, not overly done. I would definitely drive this any day of the week if I had it in person. And we got a mix of wheels though. That's the only thing I don't really like about it. We have two different variations of wheels on here. Why? I'm not really sure. I think it'd look cool if it just had the basic regular wheels. I don't know. But what do y'all think? It's a greenish looking color. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. The 73 Ford Falcon XB in a maroon dark red color. Uh, if y'all see there, uh, again, we have two different rims on here. I'm not sure why or what the point of that is. Uh, we do have dragster rims and tires on the back, the more thicker. That could be the reason is this this just has uh it's got slightly thicker tires on the back too for drag racing maybe that's why they put different rims on it but you'd think they could easily make them matching next up is number six the custom 69 volkswagen square back a vehicle you really don't see much anywhere on the roads hardly today anything 69 is very high in demand 69 and 70, they really made some nice looking cars. We got matching rims on this, obviously because they're not gonna be dragster, but uh, I love the chrome and pink. Every vehicle in this set is, in my opinion, pretty pretty nice looking. So uh, a very nice specimen right there. Nissan Fairlane Z, not sure of the age, but it looks like a 74, 75. We have a beautiful deep green with black matching rims. They are the same size tires. This is a jewel. Probably one of the best looking Nissans I've seen. Again, we have the nice pin striping. The final one. 
Honest Diecast, I'm sure, is crazy over this. It's the Porsche 934 dash five. We have it in beautiful gold, copper looking color. Uh, this looks like a late 70s, 80s model Porsche. We got the black bottom, gold rims matching. Nice paint job, nice stripes. Just an all around beautiful car. The wing on the back is actually metal too, not plastic. So very nice collection of cars here. And again, these display really nicely because the cards are actually nice looking. Please let us know which one your favorite is. Till then, thank you for watching Next Level Toys. We'll be back again soon. Goodbye.